Good morning. What's so special about Can this? you guess and see what's so special about this? What is this? really is special. That's right. I'm six foot three without choosies. I am four foot six without choosies. No. And I still fit in the van. Hooray. And now, look how exciting this is. If I take my shoes off, I easily fit. Wow. I look, can go on tiptoes like a tiny gap. bit. Look at that. That's really good. So, all the work to make it as high as possible without sacrificing any insulation. Mm -hmm. And I can still stand up. My sandwich! My sandwich! Pickle, avocado, lettuce, egg, red onions, cheese. It's like a toasted mm -hmm. club sandwich. We need a flag in it. Precision cut, clean wood, speed wood, wood, or clean wood. I mean, I want precision, but that looks the least precision I've ever seen. It nearly met in the middle. It was a bit weird, it was quite, it was quite easy. Second one was better, I think it was better going that way around. So this is what the light will look like. Yeah, when it's all fitted in. Yeah. So that's quite easy. The wall made that very easy. Yes, we have a light. And the cladding's starting to look quite exciting. Starting to look like a mess. <laughs> no, it looks good. We think. Although there's a bit of a gap by the light, so we're going to try and fix that. Got an idea, Got including clever requiring idea. foam or something, but I don't know where to get that from. And no more nail. No, not actually that. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. Doing more of this as well. Hey, we found. Look, look, we found more Celotex. What's the story? Apparently, they stopped making it, either because of something in the news, or Celotex factory burning down, or something like that. Um, and so, yeah, they don't do it being here anymore, so you just got to scramble to try and find the stuff. Scramble! We found some by phoning up a load of B&Qs, but also getting a staff member to phone up B&Qs. Thank you, on. Ash, from the B&Q in no, Stratford upon Avon. They're all the same, I've blurred it all into one. Thank you, Ash. Shout out to you. What are we doing in the, the <laughs> shop? <laughs> We've got to get some cakes. Why? Well, I ain't got anything. Why not? Well, I don't know, it's for you. Here's the cakes. <laughs> wow, this is, this is good. You're all enjoying the cakes on video. And we've gone for Mr. Kipling's enormous Crocs chocolate mud pies and also <laughs> the BFG's straw bunkles. So one of the things I'm a bit confused about with these self-drilling screws is that they tend to split the wood because they've got a countersink head rather than a flat head. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just the pilot hole bit uh, using the screw on, on just this first bit of wood, do a little countersink and then drill up. Um, so the head's got somewhere to go and won't split the wood. This split's actually fine because it's going to be underneath. Um, it's, it's, you're, not, you're not even going to see this screw. Um, but yeah, that's annoying. I now also have one of the weirdest tools I think I've ever owned, which is a right angle drill bit. So I can get right underneath um, in the bits where I had a really rubbish screw. And it goes to weird angles. That's quite useful. Uh, managed to get this online for about ten pounds, uh, rather than thirty from B and Q. And also, this is how our van tends to look. That's why we haven't done the floor properly yet. We just put the old floor in because this is our workshop. Oh, where's me pen knife? Huh? <laughs> Every time I look for something in this van, I can't find it. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> look at it. Do you know where it is, this pen knife? Comment below. The roof, the roof, the roof is not on fire. On fire. But hopefully, hopefully never. Uh, it's getting there. Uh, we've run out of cladding, obviously. Um, we did a great... What did we do? We, we did left a... it in B&Q. <laughs> we bought some and left it in B&Q. And we phoned them up and this B&Q is like a 40 minute drive away. We said, oh, we can't come get it, it's too far away and they won't give us a refund even though the client's there and I have my receipt and they won't also transfer it to a closer B&Q so we have to go all the way back That's right, we've not finished the ceiling but hey, we think it's time to do the side How's it going? Um, it's okay <laughs> uh, So now if it's perfect but We don't do perfect <laughs> um, and I'm trying to work out how to do um, the battening because it's different. So I'm going to probably put some wood onto the side. 
Yeah. Still very much a building site, but the ceiling's doing well. And look, we've started the wall. And we figured out lots of stuff. We figured out stuff up there, up here, and what's going to happen here? That's an interesting bit. Now, what's Sarah doing? Picking up tiny bits of Sabatex from the grass. <laughs> and it all just blows away. Brushing the grass. <laughs> And thanks for watching yet another day of the van build. And if you'd like to see more, please comment and like it and subscribe. And always enjoy the journey. Bye. What are you going to miss when you're doing van life? Um, Celotex. <laughs> you're going to miss Celotex? No. In your hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's always sell a text! <laughs> 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 I'm really